Bear, and you're watching Fight Mike MMA. What's up guys, Mike Placentia, Fight Mike MMA. We're here at El Nino Training Academy in San Francisco, California with UFC fighter Leslie Smith. How you doing, miss? I'm doing great. Glad to be here. Training, training, I can see. Oh yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess you can see right now. Yeah, I've been training hard. I'm, uh, I got three more weeks before my fight, so this is uh, less than three weeks. So this is like the, the height of intensity of the training camp right now. So you're fighting Jessica I. Tell us how that happened. I, it was pretty cool, actually. It started from uh, Twitter. We actually agreed to fight each other on Twitter, and then about a week later, Dana White or Sean Shelby called, and he was like, "Hey, you, you want this fight, Mexico City, Jessica I? Are you in?" And I was like, "Yeah, totally, 100 <laughs> percent." So, since the fights in Mexico, how's your Spanish? Estoy practicando mi español con todos personas que pueden ayudarme. What? You guys heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? Sorry, bilingual? Where'd you learn that? I'm not, I'm not bilingual. Um, I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it. I grew up in Southern California, like Pasadena, Altadena. And so, I mean, living in Southern California, it makes sense to take Spanish. So I always took Spanish in school. And then um, I spent a couple months in Ecuador uh, and did the whole like language immersion thing in, in my early 20s. So, um, so, and I bust out books every now and then. You know, I like to try to keep up with it. See, these fighters can do more than just fight, guys. <laughs> so tell us, the people that don't know you, how did you get into fighting? I got into fighting. I pretty much found out that I could. Um, I was a personal trainer at a gym, and I found out that there's an MMA team that trained there, and I was like, what? I'd never watched an MMA show or fight or anything before. I watched the practice for like 10 minutes and I was like, yeah, I, I would like to do this. So I asked the coach, his name's Chuck Daly. Um, he still has a team in Colorado Springs, uh, the Congo to fight team. I was like, so if I do this, can I really hit people as hard as I can? And he was like, yup. I said, I'm in. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> so tell us, half of your fight, Gilbert's fighting for the title. He's one of your training partners. It's the gym you're trained at. How do you see him matching up against uh, Pettis? How do you see him winning? Um, I, man, I'm so impressed with Gilbert. I'm so impressed with you know seeing him at the gym, the way he trains, the way he carries himself. When when I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I I pull out his old fights and and watch him. Um, I. He's, he's really smart and he, he pushes and he's fast and he's really good at reading the situation. You know, because in any situation there's a million different techniques and, and ways of carrying out those techniques that someone could do. But it, it's a real fighter's mind that can see a situation and then do the exact right thing for that situation. So I'm confident that Gilbert's going to do the exact right thing for whatever situations he creates. So after you beat this girl up at your next fight? Who are you calling out next? Oh man, uh, I'd, I'd like to fight anybody who's in the top 10 right now. Um, I'll think of a name for you. I'll come up with a name for our next one. All right, I know you got to focus on this one, so we'll just leave it at that. So, where did you grow up? Where are you from? Are you from the San Francisco Bay Area? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Southern California. I was born in Santa Ana, but then I grew up all over Southern California. like. Pasadena, Altadena, South Pasadena, um, Lake Elsinore, Claremont. I moved around a little bit when I was younger. And then I stayed there till I was like 17 and then I went off to Colorado. And I've been here in the Bay Area for about six years now. Right on. So tell us a little bit about your training regimen. You, you lift, you do jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, you do running. Do you have like a regular like gig like a regular job besides fighting or you're fighting full-time no I'm fighting full-time it's um that was part of the one of the reasons that I came out here a couple of years ago 
six years ago was so that I could train like a pro. I, I was already fighting. Um, I had my first loss out of my amateur fights and my professional fights on a Bellator show. And I was like, uh, if I'm gonna fight as a pro, I need to train like a pro. So I came out here and, and I've been dedicating myself to it. This girl means business. So if you want to give some uh, shout outs to sponsors, people will help you. Yeah. Um, I got a great sponsor here in the Bay Area, Hella High, Oakland. They're dope. Um, I've also got um, some of my sponsors for the upcoming fight are Venom Fight Gear, um, Klein, Kleinman Personal Wealth. I'm totally <laughs> saying that wrong. I need to look that one up again. Um, and Majors Pharmacy. Uh, there's a, um, a CrossFit gym down in San Diego, or down in Mexico, and they're sponsoring me for the fight. Um, I, I think I think that's most of it. Probably probably the people though that I'd have to thank the most in getting ready for this fight is everybody on this team. Everyone's been so awesome. It's such a great group of guys. The El Nino Training Center that that they've like amassed. I mean, I guess you saw on the way in, obviously. Um, but there's there's a lot of people and a lot of really good energy here. So if you want to get a hold of you, social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, how to get a hold of you. So check me out on Score. Have you guys heard about that? Oh, so it's a social media and it's mostly about athletes and it's just a slightly different form. It's called SQOR, but it, you can download it for free on your phone. And a, a super cool thing about them is that um, they're actually rewarding the athletes when, when we get feedback, you know what I mean? So. As great as my happy little heart is when I get all those likes on Facebook, it's way cooler to get them on score. Um, I, I'm still on the other ones too. I'm on Facebook, I'm Leslie the Peacemaker Smith, and then I'm on, I'm on Instagram, Leslie Smith underscore GF. And, that, and then I'm on Twitter too. I don't even remember what, maybe I should consolidate my names one of these days. But if you gotta choose one, go check out Score, please. All right, guys, she's fighting on the Mexico card. Viva la Mexico! This is Leslie Smith, and I'm Fight Mike. I think we're done, Miss. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Taylor Swift or Megan Fox? Megan Fox. <laughs> Could you kick her ass? Probably. I I mean, technically, I'm supposed to be able to. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.